Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of What Phil's Doing from Venezuela. And uh, you see that one there, guys? That's mine. I've just bought myself my first car here in Venezuela. And what I got is a Chevrolet Optima, I believe it's called. Uh, we'll come and have a look at the back. I'll just make sure I cover the number for you. A Chevrolet Optra, I beg your pardon. So that's the car. Um, I picked it up for $5,000, so I'll just cruise around and give you guys a bit of a look at what I got. For actually just under $5,000, I think for seven in the end I paid for it. So, Millie's just sitting inside. What we're going to do is go and get some petrol. So I'll just give you a bit of a look at what you get in Venezuela for just under five grand, guys. So you can see, not too bad, I've done all right. This was the pick of the bunch, trust me. Um, it's not like buying a car in Australia. <laughs> Your money doesn't go very far here. So just under five grand American for this guy. Um, but I'll give you a bit of a look at the driver's side as well. You can see I've got a, got a sunroof at least. How cool is that, eh? Um, but yeah, look, that's how you see here. It's a bit, a bit marked up, etc. But hey, look, you got to start small, right? It's my first car in Venezuela. So now I'm going to go uh, do a bit more practice of driving on the other side of the road and try and get some petrol in this bad boy. So let's go, go on to that now. Next stop, next mission, let's go. Alrighty, so we just arrived at the petrol station now. I'm going to get up here and turn around and we'll give you guys an idea. Oh, you won't fit in the compass? No, you won't. Yeah, alrighty. Beautiful, we made it. Okay. What? Oh, Jesus. Fuck you. All right. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty hard to drive here, guys, for a couple of reasons. Other side of the road and just crazy drivers. There's no real rules here, so it's a lot for a Westerner like me to get used to. But we made it. We've turned around. We're on the way to the petrol station there, and I keep thinking my buddy indicators on the side where the wipers are. But anyway, guys, just to give you a look. We made it to the gas station. There's a bit of a lineup. It's actually not too bad. So now we got to get in here and uh, and fuel up. We'll get back to you guys when we're at the pump. Okay. So the problem is we didn't check which side our fuel tank fills up from. So. We might have to find out the hard way here, but anyway, we're guessing it's on the right side. We're going to go with that for now. And oh, why does it look? Everyone just went in front of us, mate. There was a line behind us, and now we're the last. Okay, depends on where you're going. Espera, espera, tú no estás apurado. So anyway guys, this is it, this is my car. Drop a comment, let me know what you think of it. I don't think I like this very much, I never like these things. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think. Um, if you like the video, if you're liking this, joining me on this adventurous little ride, hit the like button for us. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed so you guys can see all of my adventures here in Venezuela and around the region. Yeah, this thing's really pissing me off, but anyway. That's it guys, you know what to do. Hit like, hit subscribe, do all of that. Como el asunto? Este para la gasolina? No, no, no. Huh? Para la gasolina. I don't know, okay. I don't know what the hell that was, but many knows. Huh? Para la gasolina. Para la gasolina. Por eso. Huh? Ya, claro. 
we don't know what the hell's going on here, guys. We don't know it's from. So there was a mute lady out here with a piece of paper and, and, and money in hand pointing to me. Huh? At the say send a litre. Yeah, okay, put 50. Okay, so it's a 60 litre car. Here, the way it works is, guys, you got to go in and pay first. Emily's just gone in to pay. This is how it works here. Look, so, and then they actually they fill it up for you. So it's a bit strange. Um, very different from how things work in Australia, but it's all part of the learning process. We'll get used to it, I guess. So yeah, I'm not sure what that lady wanted. Um, she was mute. I don't know, I just pointed to me. She had some sort of form and some, she had money in her hand. She wanted some money for something and she had some paperwork in her hand. I don't, don't for the life of me know what she wanted though. So, anyway, this thing is really shitting me. I might have to take it off if we can, put it somewhere else. Out of the view of my camera at least. Hey, there we go. Pop in somewhere else. Pop in there for now. So yeah, here we are guys. This is how we get petrol in Venezuela. We estimate it, it's gonna cost me about $40 for 50 liters. Um, but we don't know, we don't know the exact price. If I can see the prices, oh, here we go guys. It's actually got the prices up, if you can see up there, that little screen. When we get closer, we'll have a look. So I can see it says, Venta 250 liters, 50, 50 liters, 2.50, Precio. I think 50 bucks that guys is putting, I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. It can be 50, but sure. Yeah, probably 50 bucks. 50 liters, that'll work out to be a dollar a liter. Um, but I'm pretty sure Venezuela should be cheaper than that. So let's see. So I've got to move forward now guys, it's my turn to go. So Millie's now just going to pay. And I'm here where they put the petrol. Unless I just turn off the car and wait now. It's a handbrake on. That's alright. <laughs> I've got to get used to this. It's all very nerve-wracking. But uh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. There's some guy so I'm going clean my windshield that I don't want it now. So I'm not going to pay him either, I just told him no. So now yeah, I'm not going to put the windows down and wait for Millie I think. Uh, to come back because I, I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's all very strange. Anyway, I'm going to put the engine off now. Put down the windows. Because um, obviously you met that people. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know when they start filling it up. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, alright, engine off, windows down, I think for now. So I think when they, when they start filling it up, I'll, I'll take the camera out and give you guys a look how it works. Alright, so this is what I'm waiting. I'm sweating to death in the car here because um, I turned the air off, turned the engine off obviously to get ready to fuel up because I don't know when I'm supposed to do that so I thought better to be safe than sorry. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm going to jump out quickly, I'll show you there's actually a lineup now. Imagine this is a country with the biggest oil reserves in the world and the petrol situation is just rubbish guys. Now I guess that's what a, a good uh, dose of corruption and, and sanctions will get you. But yeah, I'll just give you guys a look over. Over there. You can see it's a lot of petrol. If you look up here. I think if you can see there guys, you see it's uh, 50 cents per litre. Someone's filled up 50 litres and it's cost them $25 I'd say. I think that's what it means when it says venta litros precio. So yeah. As you can see, all the cars line up here. There's a 
that new lady that <laughs> I don't know what she's doing but she's doing something she looks official I'm not sure um, there's another homeless looking guy over there he's going around washing the cars washing the windows he came to mine I told him I didn't want it here comes Millie because Millie now doesn't drive uh, she never drove before she's never done this either so it's all new to us so now and so I say, come on, come on, function now. How does it work? You pay first, yeah. I want to question for a liter, come on, 50 centimo, no? Yeah, I think it's 50 cents per liter, guys. So, so Millie pays, then the girl fills up. Ah, and I've just got to open up my little fuel switch. Abierto. Abre. Okay. And now we, now we just sit, we sit and, and wait for the, for the fuel. So here, we'll have a look up here, guys. Here's my, my numbers. So here we go. This is how much we So this now tells us how much petrol actually is in Venezuela. So yeah, I think 50 cents per litre. You see the litres now, me. I think about the 14 litres, seven dollars so far. These are American dollars as well, guys, even more new. So let's watch it go up. Uh, now Millie gave the mute lady money. I don't know. I sort of don't know what that was for. So there we are. I'm going to go find out what, what that was about. Let's just see. Is the chick who gave the money? What was that for? For help what? Ah, for help with them down where the cars go, etc. Okay, so that lady directs cars and traffic gives numbers, etc. Who's next? Okay. And bang, here we are. 45 meters, guys. So, yeah. There we go. 47. Okay, so she's, she's going to put the full 50 litres in for us. A little bit. 60 litre tank. She's going to squeeze as much as she can. She's up to 49. Here we go. Uh, right this there. Bang. That's it. 25 bucks for 50 litres. That's what the price is. 25 American. Gracias. Okay. So wasn't that interesting? So twenty-five dollars, twenty-five dollars American. So there we have it, guys. Price of petrol in Venezuela. Okay, fifty liters for twenty-five bucks. So fifty cents a liter. About that. All right. Beautiful. Alrighty. Now I've got to negotiate the traffic again. So we'll see you guys when we get back uh, to the front of my house. I guess to to wrap the video. Cheers. guys and now that's that home sweet home that oh. <laughs> bit of a rust bucket but it's all right <laughs> it's the best we can find for the money anyway look that's that that's uh that's my car that's how you put petrol um in venezuela that's how much it costs um i hope that answered all your questions and satisfies a bit of your curiosity bit of a short sweet episode for you guys but it is what it is hey look thanks for watching um and until the next time guys peace out